Hi everyone, it's uh, Kathy Ryan here in Bundaberg, Queensland. You see before you a 12 by 16 or 30 by 40 centimetre canvas which has some black and white sort of dribbled all over it and um, I'm just going around here and now that the light's on I can uh, see where I've kind of missed a bit and um, I just thought this would make a nice background um, not that it's going to show because I'm going to do a swipe and so it'll all get covered over but it might come through uh, the colors and what have you and um, you can see bits of cells there perhaps the camera will pick that up but um, that is has to be from the flow trial because there is no silicon in the black or the white I'm going to swipe with black but I've got yellow I've got what they call honey which is a pale orange uh, hot pink and um, violet and I just thought I might tip them on and um, and just see if I get something nice out of it so I'm going to swipe probably from this end across so um, I might just put a little bit I like colors underneath the swipe color so we'll just see how this goes and then just put them on so that they crisscross and I find you get a, a nicer pattern if you do that um, that's probably just the way I see it but I'll scrape this out right come on out you come don't be shy right that one's done uh, some yellow maybe across the top here well it's not a, this is the pale orange I was talking about it's called honey and it's from Montmartre I actually really like it I think it's very very pretty um, and as you can see it's a tad bright and now this is bright this is hot pink by uh, Pro Paint oops went over the edge doesn't matter and um, as you can see that is as close to fluoro as a non fluoro paint will be and this is just plain yellow lemon yellow I believe it's called and uh, they've all got silicon in them not a problem oh I'll need a swiping cloth you think actually I could I'll have a look at them Just thinking, um, I could probably just uh, swipe that with the um, spatula, that might be nice too. So, here's my black going on, I'll swipe it with the cloth, I think. Okay, you want black? Yep, he's on. And my cloth. Got a lot of paint on here but that's okay. And an over. Right, we're in. See what we get. Ooh, lots of purple. That's okay. Turn that around and let the colours go and see if I can get some drips off here. There's always a fair bit of paint on these cloths. Oh, that's coming up nice. some drops off there. So, well, okay. Um, I have a little knife, a little knife have I. I might just do this a bit. I don't want to uh, shake it around too much. It messes with the cells, but bringing them, bringing a few down like this is okay. Let me 
you just tilt him up a little bit, what do you think? Bring them down a little bit. Certainly got some pretty, pretty cells. Okay, so that might um, do that stretched out nicely here. I don't mind that. Come on, around you go. Stop being silly. Goodness. Okay. Take him down a little bit more over that black. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is uh, give him a little torch and then I'll have to probably look at these edges. I can see there's one here not touched. here I think. Just rub it in along there. Don't want to get covered. What have you got this side? That's a purple. Okay. should be all right. And then this corner needs a bit of help. Hmm. That corner's okay. Okay, so that's a pretty little painting. Quite happy with that and I'm going to just uh, got a few of these. That's probably from the cloth and Bad luck, I got black spots this time. Quite often you get uh, nice little colourful ones. But okay, that's the way it wants to be this time. And some colour over the side here. None of that, please. You can stop now. I don't think I'll do anything more to this one. I might just, uh, I've got a balloon here. Some place. Actually what I might do is leave it now as it is for uh, half an hour or so and then come back and uh, do a, a balloon smashes here and there on it get some flowers going on it because it really does look like um, a pretty garden and um, still getting black spots yes that's what I'll do so I'll be back um, you won't even know I'm gone <laughs> if I can stop doing this stuff all right and I'll, I'll be back in um, like I said half an hour or so and uh, do some balloon smashes the paint's a bit too wet and runny at the moment and all I'll do is uh, muddy it so I have to wait a minute. Okay so it's been a little while now, I'm not quite sure how long but I'm just going to smash along the top here and uh, see what happens. I, at this uh, particular moment I'm not going to add any colours because I think there should be enough under there and um, yes that's what I thought. How pretty, look at that. Just wipe it on the top 
papers, I think. I got a paper here. A lot of paint on here, I think, is um, messing them up a bit, but then it could be me as well. I just think the ones that I'm getting on the balloon are far prettier than uh, the ones up here. So that, that against that, I go figure. I don't know. Oh. I just thought it might make a nice border. Get some of that off. Um, just do a little dab of pink here and here. Oops, that's a bit more than a dog, but we'll see how we go with that. Didn't really work, did it? But there is a little bit of pink there now where there wasn't any before. Alright, well I might leave it at that. Because it's quite pretty. If this one will work. Yeah, that's a bit better. So, oh, I'll do one here. do now is uh, bring you down and let you have a look. And uh, you can see it's really quite pretty. Just untangling you. I'll move this across and bring you out and you can see my flowers here along the top that I did 
and then we'll go around. That's it on the side, it's an ordinary. But I've got a lot of lovely cells that have come up. Now that's sort of an orangey pink. They've sort of gone together, the colours. And uh, yes, it's very pretty, isn't it? Some lovely cells. And I like the flowers across the top there. Just makes it a little bit different. So the recipe, as I, I think I said, is underneath Show More for the paints and the pouring medium. Uh, there's a link there to my Facebook group, which is Australia Art Dreaming. And you're more than welcome to come across. And thank you very much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.